Hey, welcome to Tabletop Skirmish Games. I'm Lee, and in this video, we'll be taking a look at Kill Team Into the Dark, catching up on some of the recent articles, and finding out more about the Gallo Dark Space Hulk. On the Warhammer community site yesterday, there was a great article published with a video where they're talking about the Space Hulk, the Gallo Dark, and so I thought it'd be cool to go through the video. I've cut out some of the best bits, looked at some of the awesome new images that they've published during that video, and just slowed it all down so you can have a really good look at it, and then we can talk through all the main points of this new game, and also have a look at some of the details about the Gallo Dark itself, this huge Space Hulk that the game will be set in. Space Hulk has been around in the Warhammer universe for a long time and I remember playing it on my Commodore Amiga what must have been like 30 years ago. Also Space Crusade, that game I was hooked on, used to play it all the time. Uh, what a cool game and so really awesome to see that they're now merging Space Hulk with Kill Team and setting the new Kill Team in that Space Hulk environment. When I played the game I always imagined it being like some abandoned spacecraft but they've described it in one of the articles recently as a giant floating space-bound junkyard. And so that's a cool concept. It's all mixed up with all different spaceships who have collided over time and then gone through the warp, be melded together to create this just gigantic uh, junkyard that's floating through space, going in and out of the warp and bringing all sorts of terrors with it as it comes in and out. There's also lots of treasure to be had as you go through these different environments within the Space Hulk itself, which can be made up of vessels, deserted space stations, and all sorts of other things from the galaxy. As the Space Hulk moves around through space, it's going to pick up lots of different groups that are coming on there to find some of this lost tech and these treasures or just on there to make a kind of base for themselves as they hide out. So there's going to be lots of opportunity to play all the different factions within this new setting and I think that's just a really fun idea. This setting is going to give us the opportunity to use all our existing kill teams that we've got and factions and then if we want to go and try something new like the two kill teams included in the new box set then we can certainly pick those up and have a go at it too and this first instalment of the new season is going to be towards the edge of an imperial vessel and so it's very familiar to the navy breaches so they certainly fit in with this environment and the first one so there's some hints in the video that we'll cover in a minute that talks about potential other environments within the Space Hulk that could be different. Before we take a look at the video though, I'd like to say a huge thank you to this month's sponsors and supporters. And we've got Firestorm Games as our main sponsor now. I'm really excited and so a big thank you to them. If you're looking at picking up any hobby items for all different games, not just Games Workshop, then check out Firestorm Games with the link down below in the description. You can save up to 20% on all your hobby products and they give me a special code to share with you so you can save an additional 5% on all those prices too. So they're both down below in the description. It'd be great if you check them out. Right, now let's get on and have a look at that video and I've just clipped bits out of it so we can focus on some of the great photos they've shown us and here's the first one so we get a close-up look at some of the models. These are going to be the Navy Breachers and then we've also got some of the crew but as we work through these images you're going to see some fantastic shots of the terrain in action too. The first set now in this new season is going to give us the Imperial style terrain and but it does say in the article and in the video they talked about it give way to strange alien craft as you go further into the gallo dark so i think we're going to get some completely different terrain to play within and it's not just going to be the same as this that you just clip on and expand it to make larger battlefields so that's pretty exciting and i wonder just how wacky they're going to go with it um, because it does say that the gallo dark has a history that stretches back long before its discovery by humankind. So there could be all sorts of weird things going on within it. That immediately got me thinking that you could create your own terrain within this and go as wild as you wanted to. So that would be really fun to make up some of your own kill team boards set within the Space Hulk. So that's going to be something I'll be thinking about for sure. But with this particular terrain, which is made up of low ceilings and those cramped corridors, it's going to make those vantage points we're used to a thing of the past. So that's what they said in the article as well. So 
we could do with some terrain that's maybe higher and we can bring that back into the game if we want to because the whole space hog isn't going to be like this i imagine big voids within it big huge cargo areas maybe or even big spaces uh, that are just one entire craft that's been hollowed out even so i think there's certainly opportunity to have all different levels even though we're in this setting Here's a really nice shot and you can see that they've, they've done some great photography here with some really nice effects. They put the ceiling on it just to give you an idea of what they're trying to create, this claustrophobic environment that's really tight. You've got choke points within it and you're going to really have to think differently about how you play tactically now because you're going to be moving through these tight corridors with all your different kill team operatives. Maybe you're gonna split them up and come from two different directions to attack a particular place on the map. So yeah, it's certainly gonna make us think differently about how we play the game and arrange our operatives on the board. The hatchways are gonna be a big part of how we play as well. And so it's gonna cost you one action point to open or close those doors. So that's really fun. And they actually move too. So it's an interactive part of it. So that I really like that. That's gonna give loads of options, not just for Kill Team. This is gonna be fantastic for other games too. So let me know in the comments below what you think you'd like to play this terrain in, like something like Core Space maybe, that would be really good. Um, Stargrave perhaps, yeah, let me know down below. It'd be awesome to hear what you think. They've gone for a real rusty look to this terrain as well. I'm not sure if this is how I would paint it though. So I'm gonna to have to be thinking about some different color schemes maybe. It looks quite cool like this. You imagine an abandoned vessel melded into this huge space hole to be like this. But I think it might be cool to go in a different direction. But there's some really fantastic details within this. Even though it is just walls and connectors, the details on it I think are really well done. And again, although it's just walls and connectors, I don't think this is going to be really quick to paint unless you do just go with like a straightforward colour scheme and don't pick out those details. But coming up now, we'll see some really nice little details on some of the walls that I think are my favourite. I love the how they've got the no signal there, the cracked screen, the different dials and everything, some of the panels falling off the wall. I think all that is just really, really good. And so I can't wait to get it done. But I think I, I will be bringing out details like that and spending a bit of time painting it to get the full effect because it's got to be worth doing. Near the end of the video, they made a point of mentioning other factions like orcs and things like that. So we can expect to see them certainly fit in within the setting later on as we get more expansions. But they have highlighted in Warcry that all the Warcry warbands are going to be brand new. And I hope they do the same thing with Kill Team. I hope we're going to get new ones each time and not just what they did before in the previous season where we get one new one and then uh, one that exists already with an upgrade sprue. It would be awesome if there's two new Kill Teams in each box set. I think that will have much more appeal and I'd really like to see that. Here's another awesome photo they've done. Again, putting that ceiling on is really given the vibe that they're trying to create i think it's almost like they've welded their way through the door you've got that burning plasma going through the tiles down into the other levels and i'm really starting to imagine this on different levels as you look at it in the pictures here so I th they've done a really good job of doing this and setting the scene really well with these photos so this was a really smart move i think and again look at this shot this is really cool seeing all the crew there as it pans along so really brilliant photography so this is really making it exciting for me i don't know how you feel about this i can't wait to get hold of this box set get it built and give it a go and as i've mentioned in previous videos i'm going to go back to the main rules and really make an effort to learn them especially with those free light rules that came out recently i think it's a good time now to spend a bit more time investing in the game and learning those rules properly because i think this setting is just brilliant and i can't wait to play in it so there we go that's all the main images from the video that i picked out and thought would be cool to share with you so you can have a good look at it but if you want to watch the video in full then head over to the warhammer community site where you can find it in one of their recent articles from the 22nd of august 2022 I really expected to see this Into the Dark box set in last Sunday's pre-order preview, but it wasn't there, so I'm really guessing it's going to be this Sunday and maybe another two-week pre-order window. What do you think? Let me know down below. And also let me know if you'll actually be buying the game. Are you excited about this? Do you like the two kill teams they've put in there? And will you be adding this to your collection? I'd love to hear what you think. 
I'll update you here on the channel once we get more information about this new box set and find out more about the rules and the contents and things like that. So look out for more content for Kill Team coming very soon. But until then, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please hit the like button, subscribe for more videos like this one. And don't forget to hit the notification bell too to join me here next time on Tabletop Skirmish Games. I'd like to say a huge thank you to my Patreon supporters who make these daily videos possible. And if you're interested in joining the community, it'd be awesome to see you there. And I'll put a link for that in the description down below.